Out of Diapers. Regress to Beat Stress, Part 2. Even after being up late and having dinner with the chief the night before, Katie was up the next morning at 5 am. Millie woke up when she heard Katie stirring around. Honey, what in the world are you doing up so early? Millie, the first order of business is for me to get in shape. I am going to the bureau gym. I will be back at around nine and then we can go get dresses for the funeral. You will attend with me, won't you? Of course, dear, anything you want. Great, then get me out of this diaper, so I can do my morning business. Then order us some juice coffee for you and a protein shake for me. We will get breakfast before we go shopping. Katie finished on the potty and called for Millie. She knew how to wipe her own but but then Millie was still here. Millie wiped her clean then was going to diaper her. Millie just hand me a pair of those good nights. I don't wet much when I work out and I will be fine. I will take an extra pair in my gym bag just in case I need them. Millie quickly dressed Katie in some gym sweats and then fixed her hair in a ponytail. Millie get the morning paper and see if you can find us a furnished apartment for rent. Tomorrow we will need to buy a car. You can be my chore for I never did learn how to drive. Millie smiled, I would like that honey I have never been involved in an FBI investigation. This is very exciting for me. That and I want to help you get the ones responsible for what happened to those girls. Katie smiled and headed to the gym. It was three miles away. Katie made it in about 27 minutes jogging. When she checked her stopwatch she groaned. Damn I am out of shape. This could be a lot of work. Jake the old man that ran the gym was just opening up when Katie got there. Katie Matthews I can't believe my eyes. It's about time we had some talent in Jake's gym again. Katie hugged his neck and then began her workout. Soon Jake was spotting her on the bench press. I am in terrible shape Jake, I got lots of work to do. You don't look in bad shape to me honey. Just give it time it will get easier. After working with the free weights and about every machine the gym offered, Katie made her way to the ring to practice her karate. Just as she was walking in one side of the ring the agent she had seen at the chief's office was making his way into the other. Hi there I am Katie Matthews agent what's your name? Ron Williams, the chief told me we would be working together on the detail. Oh so you are to be part of my team agent. Good can you defend yourself? Maybe we can spar a bit. Ron laughed, sorry miss I know your reputation but I do not fight little girls. Now Katie was pissed even though he was almost a foot taller than she was. She was determined to kick his ass. Jake get us some gloves and foot protection please. Hey I told you I don't fight girls. Well agent you see you have no choice I am making, you're sparring with me in order. If I sense you are holding back I will give you every shit detail this investigation calls for. Ron was not happy but he put on the shoe protection and gloves. While Jake helped Katie with hers. Little one he is a big boy and he is really good. You're better but watch it he has a strength advantage. Thanks Jake I will take it easy on him. Katie walked to the center of the ring trying to adjust her helmet. Jake had insisted she wear one. Where's your helmet agent? I don't think I need one if we're going to do this let's get it over with. Ring the bell sunshine. Ding ding. The moment Ron got the words out Katie jumped in the air and hit him right in the jaw with a front round kick. She did not knock him down but it stunned him and he took a knee. Suddenly anger took over and he rushed Katie she tripped him and hit him with an elbow to the back. Ron fought his own emotions slow down idiot she is only a little girl. He slowed down and they began sparring in earnest. Two things hindered Katie. One she was by no means in shape and had already been through a grueling workout. Two the shots she could not duck she had to block and Ron had too much power for her. Katie hit the mat hard with his last kick. She did not get her arms up in time and the kick hit her dead in the chest. When she hit the mat it knocked the wind out of her. Katie lay on the mat fighting to get her breath. Ron was on a knee at her side not sure what to do. You okay Katie I am so sorry. 
Jake came running up. Get out of my way you big bully, Katie are you okay? I am fine Jake just fine. Good match Agent Williams we will have to do this again sometime. What you did not get enough this time? Listen asshole we were sparring this was not life or death. That and I have not been on a karate mat or worked out for over a year. Next time it will be different I assure you. Ron walked away thinking about what Katie had said. No karate or working out in a year. My god had he underestimated this little girl. She was simply fucking amazing. Ron smiled besides she's cute maybe I will thank the chief for this assignment someday. Katie was very sore when she got back to Millie. They went to breakfast then shopping for dresses. Having found the appropriate attire they both had their hair done in the hotel salon. The funeral was what can you say a funeral. Katie did not cry. She was determined not to do that until Misha and Amber's killer was graveyard dead. As the funeral was over she found herself talking to the chief. Katie I hear you did a bit of sparring with Ron Williams this morning that was dumb. Do you want to get hurt? No sir chief I wanted to see where I stood in my conditioning and it was pathetic. Next time we spar I will kick his butt. The chief smiled, honey Ron Williams is a very good agent but a bit arrogant. Just the same I am glad I put him on your team. He will be an asset. So am I chief besides that he is cute. Hey I thought you were only into, well are girls. Chief I have had one relationship, she happened to be a girl. Honestly I have no idea what I am into. So when will the rest of my detail be ready? Let's see love it's Thursday, I will have a team ready for you by 10 o'clock Monday morning. Say a 10 am meeting in the conference room. That's good chief it will give me time to get an apartment. I also would like to have everything you do on this case so I can study. The chief smiled, here's the address to your new apartment Katie. This one is on the agency they should be finished furnishing it by the time you get there. The information you want is listed under your favorites. Give these to Millie it's the red Ford 500 in the parking lot. Katie looked at the keys the chief had handed her, and smiled. Chief you take such good care of me. It's the least I can do for my best agent. Katie kissed him goodbye and went to find Millie. After a short stop at the hotel they arrived at the new apartment building. Katie quickly found her bedroom, the one with the changing table and the computer. Katie booted it up just as Millie walked in the room. I bet a certain little girl needs a new diaper then we need to see about getting something to eat. Tomorrow I will go shopping. We have everything we need honey. All the cooking utensils there are even a few groceries, juice and enough to make breakfast in the morning in the fridge. Millie helped Katie up on the changing table. As she was changing Katie's diaper Katie spoke up. Millie could you go for pizza tonight, I need to get on the computer and get to work. I would suggest you call Luigi's it's the best pizza in Chicago. Of course dear and how would you like the pizza? Just tell Luigi it's a Katie Matthews special. Canadian bacon green peppers onions and extra cheese. Millie finished Katie's diaper and then went to make the call. Katie clicked on favorites on the computer. The chief had supplied her with. There were only four things on her favorites. FBI files. Manda. CIA. Interpol. Katie got right to work. It was showtime.